There's definitely a very strong link between sexual violence and alcohol use, particularly between sexual assault and binge drinking, which is when you drink between four and six drinks in one sitting. Research has consistently found that in at least half of the cases where a man has sexually assaulted a woman, the man has consumed alcohol. One study has found that male to female aggression is 11 times more likely between partners on days on which the perpetrator consumed alcohol. And they found that the sexual assault usually happens within two hours after the perpetrator had consumed the alcohol. The question is, does alcohol cause sexual violence, of which rape is one form? The answer is no. Studies have found that alcohol is a contextual factor, but not necessarily a cause. Researchers often refer to it as liquid courage. One male perpetrator described it as follows in a study. Straight, I don't think I have the guts to rape. I could fight a man, but not that. Some men even drink purposely when they want to be sexually aggressive because they know the drinking will make it easier and they often use the drunkenness afterwards to justify their behaviour. A study known as the Sonki Change Trial, of which the results were released in 2016, found that problem drinking increased the odds of men in Dipsluit in northern Johannesburg of being violent towards a woman, whether that is sexually or physically, by at least 50%. Alcohol affects you cognitively and makes it easier to do things that you would otherwise not have done. Alcohol lowers your inhibitions and it disrupts your problem-solving skills, making it easier not to consider the consequences of your actions, whether those are the consequences for your victim or for yourself, and often resulting in aggression seeming like the most reasonable option at the time.